visiting the sick 100, feed the hungry, visit the sick and free the captive. Bukhari, Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad, 101. When you visit an invalid tell him to make a supplication for you, for his supplication is like of the angels. Ibn Majah, Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad, 102. A Muslim has five duties towards another Muslim, to return a salutation, visit the sick, follow funerals, accept an invitation and say God have mercy on you, when one sneezes. Bukhari, Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. Salutations 103. There are six good qualities which one believer should display to another. He should visit him when he is ill, be present when he dies, accept his invitation when he gives one, salute him when he meets him, say God have mercy on you, when he sneezes and act sincerely towards him whether he is absent or present. Nasai. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 104. One who is riding should salute one who is walking, one who is walking should salute one who is sitting and a small company should salute a large one. Bukhari, Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 105. The God's Messenger peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, passed a mixed company of Muslims, polytheists who worship idols and Jews and he gave them a salutation. Bukhari, Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 106. Those who are nearest to God are they who are first to give the salutation. Ahmad, Tirmidhi, Abu Dawud. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 107. When you go into your family, Sunni, give a salutation. It will be a blessing both to you and to your family. Tirmidhi. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. Standing up 108. A man must not make another get up from his place and then occupy it himself, but you should spread out and make room. Bukhari, Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 109. If anyone gets up from where he has been sitting and comes back, he has no right to it. Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 110. It is not allowable for a man to come in between two people without their permission. Termidhi. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. Goodness and the Cementing of Relationship 111. One who cuts ties of relationship will not enter paradise. Bukhari, Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 112. The Lord's good pleasure results from a father's good pleasure, and the Lord's displeasure results from the father's displeasure. Termidhi. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 113. Messenger of God, who is most deserving of friendly care from me. He peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, replied, your mother. He asked who came next, and he peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, replied, your mother. He asked who came next and he peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, replied, your mother. He asked who came next and he peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, replied, your father. Bukhari, Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 114. What rights can parents demand from their children? He peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, replied, they are your paradise and your hell. Ibn Majah. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 115. By him in whose hand my soul is, a man does not believe till he likes for his brother what he likes for himself. Bukhari, Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 116. Those who are merciful have mercy shown them by the compassionate one. If you show mercy to those who are in the earth, he who is in heaven will show mercy to you. Abu Dawud, Tirmidhi. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 117. A Muslim is a Muslim's brother. He does not wrong him or abandon him. Ahmad, 117. A Muslim is a Muslim's brother, he does not wrong him or abandon him. If anyone cares for his brother's need, God will care for his need. If anyone removes his brother's anxiety, 
God will remove from him one of the anxieties of the day of resurrection, and if anyone conceals a Muslim's secret, God will conceal his secret on the day of resurrection. Bukhari, Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 118. He does not belong to us who does not show mercy to our young ones and respect to our old ones, who does not recommend what is reputable and prohibit what is disreputable. Termidhi. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 119. The best house among the Muslims is the one which contains an orphan who is well treated, and the worst house among the Muslims is the one which contains an orphan who is badly treated. Ibn Majah. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 120. The believer is not the one who eats his fill when the neighbor beside him is hungry. Bayahaki. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 121. All creatures are God's children, and those dearest to God are the ones who treat his children kindly. Bayahaki. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 122. Touch an orphan's head and feed the poor. Ahmad. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. Guarding against slander and abuse 123. If anyone guarantees me what is between his jaws and what is between his legs I, he should not commit fornication, I shall guarantee him paradise. Bukhari. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 124. Reviling a Muslim is disobedience to God, and fighting with him is infidelity. Bukhari, Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 125. It is not fitting for an eminently truthful man to be a reveler. Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 126. A mischief maker will not enter paradise. Bukhari, Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 127. Adhere to truth, for truth leads to good deeds and good deeds leads him who does them to paradise. Falsehood is wickedness and wickedness leads to hell. Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 128. The great liar is not the one who puts things right between people, says what is good, and promotes what is good. Bukhari, Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 129. Woe to him who tells things, speaking falsely, to make people laugh thereby. Woe to him. Woe to him. Ahmad, Tarmidhi, Abu Dawud, Darimi. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 130. Do you know the thing which most commonly brings people into paradise? It is fear to God and good character. Do you know what most commonly brings people to hell? It is the hollow of things, the mouth and the private parts. Tarmidhi, Ibn Majah. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 131. Sufyan bin Abdullah Thakafi told when he asked God's messenger what he feared most for him, he took hold of his tongue and said this. Termidhi. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 132. None of my companions must tell me anything about anyone, for I like to come out to you with no ill feelings. Abu Dawud. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 133. Our stock does not come into anything without disgracing it, and modesty does not come into anything without adorning it. Termidhi. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 134. If you guarantee me six things on your part, I shall guarantee you paradise. Speak the truth when you talk, keep a promise when you make it, when you are trusted with something fulfill your trust, avoid sexual immorality, lower your eyes and restrain your hand from injustice. Bayahaki. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. Boasting and Party Spirit 135. The one who is most honorable in God's estimation is the pious, Bukhari, Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 136. Do not eulogize me as the Christians eulogize the Son of Mary, I am just his servant, so say, God's servant and his messenger. Bukhari, Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 137. God has revealed to me that you must be humble, so that no one boasts over another, or oppresses another. Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 138. 
Watilinki, Alaska told that he asked God's messenger what party spirit was and he replied, You help your people in wrongdoing. Abu Dawud, Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad, Discarding and Severing of the Bonds of Friendship 139. It is not allowable for a man to keep apart from his brother for more than three days, the one turning away and the one turning away when they meet. The better of the two is the one who is first to give the greeting. Bukhari, Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 140. Avoid envy, for envy devours good deeds just as fire devours fuel. Abu Dawud. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 141. A curse is he who harms a believer, or acts deceitfully towards him. Termidhi. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 142. To harbor good thoughts about a brother, is a part of well-conducted worship. Ahmad. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. Gentleness, Modesty and Good Character 143. He who is deprived of gentleness is deprived of good. Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 144. Righteousness is good character, and sin is that which revolves in your heart and which you do not want people to know. Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 145. I have been sent to perfect good character. Muwada, Ahmad. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 146. Among the best of you are they, who have the best character. Bukhari, Muslim. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 147. Modesty is part of faith and faith is in paradise, but obscenity is part of hardness of heart and hardness of heart is in hell. Ahmad, Termidhi. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 148. O God, as thou hast made my form beautiful, so make my character beautiful. Ahmad. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof. Ghazi Ahmad. 149. The believers whose faith is most perfect are those who have the best character. Abu Dawud, Darimi. Sayings of Muhammad, by Prof.